CD38 antibodies have multiple modes of action. They can activate the complement cascade, they can induce NK cell mediated ADCC, they can induce uh, monocyte mediated ADCP. Uh, and also they can uh, eradicate immune suppressor cells because they are having CD38 on the cell surface. So they can eradicate regulatory T cells, regulatory B cells and myeloid derived suppressor cells. And uh, the eradication of those cells improves uh, T cell function and also T cell numbers. So uh, we think that these uh, 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 positive effects on the T cell system may in the end result in a, uh, a host anti-tumor uh, T cell immune response, which also contributes to the uh, efficacy of CD38 antibodies. Um, here at ASH, uh, Christopher Klei uh, from our group in Amsterdam uh, showed that NK cell characteristics at uh, start of dara tumor treatment are in part uh, predicting uh, whether a patient will respond to dara tumor or not. Uh, and she, she also showed that at the time of resistance, there is a different phenotype of the NK cells, and those functional um, changes may uh, uh, maybe may also influence um, uh, relapse uh, when patients are treated with daratumumab. And with these insights, we hope to, uh, in the end, to improve um, the, uh, the efficacy of daratumumab by making uh, new uh, rational uh, combination strategies for these patients.